Hi, Gabby here from Roy Studios, and on this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Yesol spinning bike. As you can imagine, this came on a pretty large box. As it is expected, it's a spinning bike, but it was relatively easy to put it together. The instruction manuals came in Chinese, but worry not, by the time this starts shipping all over the world, it will have English as well. They include all the tools, and like I said, it's just very simple, and it takes very short time to get it ready. They also included the mats, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use this because I have ceramic floors. I have never ever scratched the floors while using this bike, so I'm good. I guess if you have some good or, or different kind of floor that might get scratched, you might wanna put that under the bike. Another thing for me not to use this mat is that this thing has wheels and with only one hand, I can move it around very easily. So if you are in one part of the house, and let's say you want to move it because you have visit, you have some friends coming over, take too much space in the living room, put it on another room, it's easy and fast. But for example, sometimes I like to watch TV while I'm training, so I might put it on the living room. When it comes to design, I gotta say, I love the Yeso bike. You can see how nice it looks. There is not much to say about it, right? You have these combinations white, gray, and a little bit of red. Another thing I like is the logo. How cool is the logo? It's a, like a crazy rock and roll unicorn. And you know, I like some other sporty bikes that are black with this bright color like orange and green. That may be okay for a gym, but not for a home. And this is what I have my bike in my home. This is what I plan to do. Also, another thing that I like about this bike is that it's a little bit smaller than some other spinning bikes. And even so, it is smaller for a large guy like me, around five foot nine and a little bit over 200 pounds, it is very stable and very comfortable. So the seat is fully adjustable. You can move back and forward and up and down, and it, it can accommodate people that is even six foot tall or someone much shorter like, like my wife that is just five feet tall. We are both very comfortable while riding this bike. The handle is also adjustable. I'll show you how you get done. You need to loosen the grip, pull, and adjust. Even so, there isn't an onboard computer, there is no LCD monitors, there is Bluetooth that allows you to connect to your phone and you can get a dashboard and you can also get some motivational videos that will help you use this bike and get fit. There is a little caveat here, uh, the app at the moment is only in Chinese. I'm pretty sure by the time of launching this video, they might get it in English. So you can see we have no computer on board, but we can easily accommodate a large phone in other portrait or landscape mode. and you can even have enough room to have a 10 inch tablet. The tablet stand can tilt, so you get a clear view where you're sitting and also when you're standing. You also have a cup holder, uh, pretty useful for days like today that is very hot. That's it, I ran out of water. The way the bike works, we have a flywheel right here at the front. That's where all the action happens. We also have a resistance knob right here. At the moment, I have it set at the lowest resistance. So it's very easy, very comfortable. If you are a beginner like me, this is what you want. This is what I normally do. I get at the somewhere around the minimum resistance, watch my favorite TV series here on the tablet, somewhere around 20 minutes. That get me uh, ready for at least for when I don't wanna do too much workout. Sometimes I will get the resistance all the way up, when I'm feeling like I have more energy and I step on it. Whew. Now, that's for a much more serious workout. I do that for a couple of minutes, bring my cardio, uh, my, my beats up to like somewhere around 150, 160, and then I need to bring it down. Whew. I'm exhausted. As you can see, the bike really worked. Like I just used it for a few minutes for this video and I'm sweating, my cardio went up and that's exactly what this is all about. Uh, getting some really serious workout. Uh, I've been trying already for quite a while and I lose a little bit of weight. In just two or three weeks that I have this bike, I lost one kilo. Uh, but the most important thing is not the weight, is that I feel better. My cardio have improved a lot. So uh, I'm very thankful for yourself for sending this bike over for review. By the way, if you wanna purchase this bike, 
there is a link in the description down below and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel this is gabby from ray studios and i'll catch you up on the next video